Oh, big one, big one, giant, dude, giant, 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 giant. Oh my gosh, it's a freaking giant. It's a freaking giant. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today's video is gonna be a good one and I know that because we've already been out here fishing for the past like hour and a half. Uh, a lot of times I'll come out here, try to catch one or two bass, make sure that we're gonna get a video before I shoot the intro and we got in such a flurry right off the bat here that I just haven't shot the intro yet but we're throwing three baits today and we've got pretty much the best spring baits of all time on. Uh, today's video is actually gonna be sponsored by Ketchco. We've got a lipless crankbait, the brand new Biospawn Rattlebot. This one has been a very big player this morning. We've got the Ketchco Guggen Squad Jerkbait, the little Scout Junior, and then we've got a Chatterbait with a Biospawn Exoswim on the back there. So three Ketchco baits, check it out in the link down below. They're gonna be very, very key. We're gonna catch a ton of bass today. We've already caught a ton of bass today, but we're searching for one big bite. That's gonna be the goal of the day. And like I said, I already know we're gonna catch them because we've already done a lot of the catching, but we still haven't caught a giant yet. I, pr I promise you that there might be one in the video. We're only about an hour and a half into the day, but stick around, stay tuned. Let's get into the fishing. Oh, got one. First one of the day on the rattle bot, guys. It's a nice fish. That's a nice one. Don't want to get the net. He's got one trouble, barely hooked. Yes, sir. Let's go. 43 degree water. That's a nice fish. That brand new Biospawn rattle bot. Yeah, Chris just missed one. Let me show you guys the bait we're throwing here. That lipless bait by Biospawn. It's the first ever hard bait that they've come out with. I've been catching them pretty good the last two weekends on this thing, but awesome action in this thing they got two different uh rattles for the shad patterns and then for the craw pattern so we're throwing a little sexy shad right there caught a nice two and some change fish right there gonna probably toss that one on the scale we'll get our best five going for the day oh and chris is hooked up chris is hooked up that one's a little guy back to back we just got into him here let me find the scale here really quick we do not need to weigh that fish for chris <laughs> very small that one's gonna be over two pounds though Heck yes. There you go. <laughs> Chris, this is going back. We've got, oh, dude, it's bigger than I thought. Three pounder? Almost, 2.79. 2.79 pounder to start her off. All right, we're gonna get her back in the water and try to catch a few more. There she goes. We are gonna catch some more. Try to get another nice one. So we got two bites back to back, one on the lipless, one on the jerk bait. Water temperatures are cold, but these fish, they're gonna be moving up. We got a 60 degree high today. It's only like 40 degrees out right now, but they're gonna start moving. Chris just got smoked again right there. <laughs> they're gonna start moving up here, and uh, we're only fishing in like four foot of water, just up on this grass flat, slowly ticking this lipless along. Oh, Chris has got one. Another decent one. Heck yeah, dude. Smoked it on the pond. <laughs> like, not the immediate pond, yeah. but like way after I hit right, it. Right, right. Dude, nice, all right. <laughs> Another, it really wasn't that big, but. Another little one pounder for Chris. That's three fish in the boat, back to back to back. Got one, that looks like a good one. I just saw that out of the corner of my eye. Is that a nice fish? All right, yep, it's the freaking move, dude. The jerk bait's getting a lot of bites. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good one, dude. That's a good one. Oh yeah, it's... there we go, in the net. I don't know what we're gonna try to hit today. I don't think we have a target weight that we're really uh, going for, but if we could catch 12 to 15 pounds on this leg, that'd be pretty solid. I think we just want to catch a big bass. Yeah, or at least, at least one. one random big one, but that one's 1 1.67 for Chris right there. So we got yes. almost a three pounder and then a little under two, one and three quarter pounder going back in the lake. That one wanted it dead. She got, she smoked it? She straight smoked it? Smoked See, in my experience, the jerkbait is one of the best springtime lures for catching a lot of fish, and it definitely catches big ones, but a lot of times they get bigger bites in the trap, which obviously so far today has kind of rung true. Not that the trap doesn't catch little ones too, and that, like I said, the jerkbait definitely catches big ones, but I catch a lot of big fish on lipless crankbaits, and it seems to get outfished in quantity though by the jerkbait. So we're gonna keep throwing this around, try to get a big bite, and uh, Chris is probably gonna catch a lot more bass on that jerkbait. <laughs> Got one. Smoked it, dude. No, that's a little guy. I think so, at least. Yeah, I got him. I got him. Little, like, pounder. I'm not gonna toss that one on the scale. She probably is a Michigan keeper, but we wanna get ones that are at least close to two pounds before we start weighing them, especially because we just caught, like, five bass in a matter of five minutes. I think that we're gonna catch some bigger ones than this one. But she crushed that little biospawn rattle bot. That was kind of on my little rip and pause. Lifted up and she was on there. Little 14-incher, going back in the lake. 
very, very impressed with this bait right here. Uh, last weekend, we were fishing this lake and I caught probably five or six on this in a matter of like 10 minutes. Really didn't throw it a lot because we could catch them on whatever we wanted and we caught a ton on a blade bait. Uh, put that video on the MTB channel, but this thing was out fishing the striking red eye shad, I would say, wouldn't you? Yes. It was catching more bass and bigger ones. So this is like my third or fourth time throwing this thing and nothing but mad respect for Biospawn's first uh, hard bait that they just come out with. I think that they did a ton of research to get this thing just right, and it seems to be working for me. And that's also not a slight to the Striking Red Eye Shad. I've caught giant bass and so many bass over the last, like, probably 10 years on a Striking Red Eye Shad. That thing is an awesome, awesome lipless crankbait. So, no disrespect, but I am really, really liking this one right here. Got one. Dude, they are crushing it. Feels like an okay one. Did you got one too? Oh, no. Thought we doubled up. Now, another, like, 14-incher. I'm just slowly winding this thing as slow as I possibly can, and anytime I feel some grass, I'm ripping it right out. That's a skinny guy. Another solid 14 incher probably, but really disgusting looking. <laughs> Gross. Gross. So far, all the other bass were super healthy. That thing looked kind of nasty. Got one? Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. You need the nut or you're going to flip that though on the chatter. Dude, nice. <laughs> We just went up a little bit shallower. Both of us picked up a chatterbait to try to get uh, a little bit better bite. And Chris just caught his first good one of the day. Almost went in the lake right there. <laughs> All right. That was very clumsy. On the chartreuse and white jackhammer. Yes, sir. Get that one in the best five. That's the third one that we're going to put on the scale here. That one will be over two pounds for sure. 2.11. A little over two pounder for the jackhammer. Nice fish, Chris. Thank you. We're getting the best five of cooking. We're rocking and rolling. So I keep wanting to pick up a jerk bait, but then you're not catching any on it. So I'm just, I don't know. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try it anyway. Yeah, do it. <laughs> Give the old jerk plug a try. Chris caught a couple on it early, and I have not thrown the jerk bait yet. Conditions are screaming for a jerk bait, though. Sun high in the sky. The bass should be crushing one of these. But yeah, the wind is perfect. We got. Just the right amount of wind, like five miles per hour. Get a little chop on the water, but not blowing us all over kingdom come. It should be an unreal bite right now. Kind of died down a little bit. We had that really, really solid bite going in the morning. It might be a spot deal too. We're probably going to go back over there at some point. But they should be biting over here with the wind just kind of graciously flowing right over the top of them. They should be munching. There he is. That was like second cast on a jerkbait. I'll take it. I was literally about to say this should be getting clobbered right now. I'm so confused on the Guggen Squad Scout. Not a big one, but switched up. Wasn't getting bit on the rattlebot anymore. Like I said, it's really not the best bait to throw when the sun's high in the sky. The jerkbait's a much, much better bait. But she was crushing them earlier. And I think if we get back to that spot, it might work again. But switched up. Little junior Guggen Squad Scout. Three to five foot depth. And like second cast. Got one in the boat casting around this grass flat and trying to find old mama so far it's been a little bit dink city caught one that was almost three and chris called like a two but looking for those better bites not sure if we're gonna have to switch up baits or what's going on but they're in here somewhere somewhere we're gonna find a big one oh. got one. Oh, it's a nice one it's a big one it's a big one it's a big one dude it's a big one on the jerk bait, it's a big one. It's a big one. Let's go, dude! <laughs> yes! Right out of that freaking grass pile. Yes, sir! That's what we're after. Please tell me we're. Yes! We're recording. Everything's good. I just freaking caught a crappie and I didn't have it on camera. Oh my gosh. Yes, the Guggen Squad Scout. The jerk bait's a big bass bait, baby. I told you. It's unassuming. You don't think it's going to be a big bass bait until a big bass eats it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, we're going to get her on the scale. That's over four pounds for sure, though. She's built. Oh my gosh. The Guggen Squad Scout getting it freaking done. Get her on the scale here. Write down in the comments right now before I put her on the scale how much you think that bass weighs. I'm thinking she's about four pounds. She's got to be pretty dang close if she's not. <laughs> 4.1, right on the money. 4.1 pound bass. 
not a five pounder. That's kind of the ultimate goal of the day, but very, very beautiful, very, very built up bass right there. Gonna get her back in the water and hopefully catch some more big ones. That is why we are out here. Springtime fishing, my absolute favorite time to get out here and fish. Best time to catch a big bass. You need to be out there. I don't care how cold the water is. Like I said, it was like 42 when we launched today. We do have a beautiful day, so it's warming up really quick, but cold water, those big bass are on the move. They're up shallow and they're eating. So get out there, throw yourself a little Guggen Squad jerk bait, little uh, Biospawn Rattlebot and get to it. I literally forgot how much I love lipless crankbaits. That's a, that's a fun bite. Yep, that's a fun bite. I like that a lot. Back to back, that's another decent one. Back to back cast in the lipless. I haven't thrown one in so long and this biospawn one came out so I was like, you know what, we might as well give her a try. That's a nice fish right there. Once again, I don't think I'm gonna weigh that one. It doesn't really matter. We got a couple that are probably right about this size, like one and a half pounder. We'll get her back in the water though. We are crushing them out here. Got a little bit shallower, so I put the jerk bait away for a second. Took like three casts and just caught two back to back on the rattlebot again. Nice shallow grass flat. Perfect for ripping out of that grass. Let's see if we can go uh, three in a row right here. Picked this up and caught two instantly and then nothing. Oh! Biggin, biggin, giant, dude. Giant, 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 giant. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, what is it? It's a carp, it's a carp, it's a carp. Don't break off. Oh my God, it's a carp. I thought we had a nine pounder. Oh my gosh. We got a giant carp though, it's huge. It's in the face too, he's got it like in his lip. Oh my gosh, it's a freaking giant. It's a freaking giant. Oh, it's in his mouth. What the heck? Dude, that's one of the biggest carp I've ever caught in my life. That's not gonna fit in that net, just so you know. There's just not a way, no, no way. This is like a 30 pound carp. Dude. It's it dead stopped the rod. I thought for sure it was like a nine pounder. Oh my nine -pounder. gosh, yeah, it's bigger than a nine pounder. Dude, that is an absolutely massive fish. Oh my god, it's huge. It's huge. That that's the biggest carp, dude. That's the biggest one. Dude. You guys, I hope we could get this fish in because I just want you to see this in person. I want to hold this thing up. And this is my only biospawn rattle bot, so I definitely don't want it to snap me off. This is a bulbous creature. Yeah. Yeah, it's huge. It's freaking huge. See ya. <laughs> See ya, dude. It's Luckily, it's in the mouth, too. If it was hooked in the side, this thing would have probably already pulled off. But this thing is literally... It, it, ate, the, it ate the rattle bot, I swear. I, it, unless I hooked it randomly right in the face, it, this thing has got it in its mouth. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I thought that that was going to be an 8-pounder. Like, no joke, I thought we had him. <laughs> I thought it was over. I thought we had an eight pounder on. Guys, I don't know how long this fight's been. I'm obviously gonna cut this up because it's basically just been me standing here with the rod. But once this fish gets tired, Chris is gonna try to grab him. It's not gonna fit in the net, not a chance. I have trouble fitting like five and six pound bass in there sometimes. This thing is huge. Oh, she's, uh oh. What's happening here? Yeah, something's happening. She's, she's got me down in the grass now. Oh no. Uh oh, she's, she's just buried herself down in the grass. Smart move. <sighs> this Smart move. dang creature. I want to see your face. Did she just go down there and die? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> like wood or something. That looks unmovable. Swim out, dude. I don't feel her kicking even now. Oh no! I don't know what happened. I don't know what's going on. It feels so solid. Yeah, that might be wood or something. Dude. What? And now I'm going to lose the rattle by too. That was the only thing I didn't want to happen. Like, I wanted to land the carp if I could, but mostly I just wanted my bait back. <laughs> oh, no. It's like just stuck. Yeah, it's stuck so much. <sighs> oh, 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 it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. She's coming. Yeah, yeah. Oh, get her! <laughs> she buried she herself buried in the mud. The she buried herself in the mud. As soon as I touch her, it's gonna be. Dude, up. don't go back down there, fish. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. I'm not letting her. I'm gonna bully her a little bit. Come on, get her, 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 Chris, get her. Oh, oh, 
Whoa, 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 Oh, oh my <laughs> gosh, dude. This is one of the biggest fish I've ever caught in my life. Honestly, on hook and line, this this is up there. This has got to be the biggest carp I've ever caught hook and line. Tail is so strong. I've got a bigger one bow fishing, but I've never caught one this big. <laughs> Don't end up in the water. <laughs> Get her, Chris. Get her, Chris. Yeah! <laughs> Let's freaking go, baby! <laughs> it, it definitely was snag, but we got her like right on the side of the face. Yes, that was one of the <laughs> that's one of the biggest carp I've ever seen. Oh my goodness! Well, we got to get a couple pictures of this beast, boys and girls. That was the fight of a lifetime. I'm gonna try to put this on the scale. I don't know if it's gonna work, but it, it literally is hard to hold up. Like my arms are trembling. That's definitely the biggest carp I've ever caught hook and line. Like I said, I've got a bigger one bow fishing, but this is the biggest one I've ever landed on the rod and reel. And we got that little biospawn rattle pot right in the freaking mouth, pretty much. I don't know if she was trying to eat it. I have caught fish on, I've caught carp on like jigs and stuff. This was probably flying past her face though, and just hooked her right in the side of the face. Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna try to get this fish on a scale here. I don't know if it's gonna work. I really don't. Let's see what happens. Why not? We might break this. Oh, this is only, it's a 15 pound scale, not a champ. You, you should pounds. try it. No, it's, it goes to 15 pounds. Oh, it only goes up I don't want to break pounds. it. All right, we're going to send her back in the water. I'm calling her 20 plus. I really don't know how big that fish is though. I'm not a carp expert. Took us about seven minutes to reel this thing in. Oh, here she goes. Big, beautiful beast. What a gorgeous fish. They don't get enough credit guys. Carp are beautiful. Look at that giant. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we're a slimy mess, but we're catching bass, we're catching carp, and we're gonna try to catch some more for you guys. So stick around. So I think we're gonna end the day in that crappie right there. We had a pretty solid day in the water. We hit our mark. We wanted to catch between 12 and 15 pounds. We have 13.07 for our best five, uh, including one that was over four pounds. So we didn't catch a mega giant, but I will take a four pounder any day of the week. And uh, I love catching big fish on jerk baits too, so that was awesome. But all three spring baits put out today the jerk bait, the chatter bait, and also the lipless crankbait, that new bio spawn. Awesome, awesome bait, guys. Haven't caught a fish in a lipless in a long time, and today I caught a ton on it, including an almost three pounder. So check all that out in the link down below. Catch Call, like I said, was today's video sponsor, and all their baits succeeded. Awesome job, giant crappie, big bass, great day in the water. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.